Hi guys, I'm going to take you through some skincare today. I'm going to go through what I use and at the end of the video as well I'm going to suggest alternatives as well that I know are good um, because you can have the most amazing makeup in the world, amazing foundations, but if your skin is bad it's not going to make any difference. So when I shower in the morning I use a cleansing foam and I use Giorgio Armani. Um, the reason I like this one is because it's soap free um, soap tends to dry out your skin so if you are getting alternative cleansing foams do get one that's soap free um, that one is ideal for normal and oily skin also for sensitive skin um, it contains salicylic acid which is a gentle exfoliator so again if you're looking for alternatives get one that has salicylic acid in it um, which is great for sensitive skin so after I've that done, I don't really cleanse and tone in the morning. I show that that foam does everything for me because it's mineral and it does actually even out your pH as well. So it is a really good foam to use. Um, so I don't bother with my cleanser and toner. Then after that, I just go ahead and put on my moisturizer. So on a daily basis, I tend to just use Nivea Visage. And this one is Rich Moisturizing Day Cream. And it has UV filters in it. So I'm actually in a very hot country at the moment so I definitely need it but I would really recommend to everybody to get a face cream that has SPF and UV protection in it because even if you're in a cold country you still have wind damage and you still have the UV filters coming through. So that one has almond and candela oil in it as well so it's very soothing and it's very good for dry skin. Um, then after I have that done if I'm really good I'll put on an eye cream. Um, generally I tend to use the eye cream more at night time so if I am good I'll put on the eye cream and the one I use is Giorgio Armani again and it's um, the Obsidian Mineral Complex so again it contains all the minerals that your skin needs so with any eye cream just dab it around the orbital of your eye don't ever go closer than that because it actually naturally lifts up higher anyway and just you might get some residue in your eye if you do go closer than that so just the orbital now this one is great for brightening and also as an anti-age eye cream um, I have used Protect and Perfect as well and I do find that really good and again it is much cheaper than Giorgio Armani um, actually the number 7 range is really good so you can use their products as well and still get the same benefits I also during the day I like to use a Evian facial spray so this is if you feel your skin is dehydrated um, again you don't have to be in a hot country for your skin to be dehydrated I mean you could not be drinking enough water your diet I mean elements especially if it's windy rainy cold um, and you can put this on over your foundation as just to add moisture into your skin it doesn't really I, I don't find any way that it tends to um, affect my makeup it doesn't move it or you know ruin my makeup so I mean just spritz this on over your skin and it just freshens you up brightens your skin uh, makes you feel more awake as well um, that's also would be really good to use if you're living in a city I would always recommend when you get home from work to take your makeup off straight away cleanse and tone your face because there's so much pollution uh, especially like in cities like London and Dublin um, you really do need to like cleanse and tone when you get home and then put on that spray because it's just so good for your skin and then the next thing I do try is every kind of maybe two days I try to exfoliate so after I've used the cleansing foam I would use this exfoliator honey snap out of it or you can use it at night time as well before you go to bed after you've done your cleansing and toning and removed your makeup. So this one is from Benefit. Uh, it's relatively cheap. Um, it has natural honey in it and almond and vitamin E. So again, natural products in it. Um, it has small granules as well. So it's not harsh in your skin. So it's good for sensitive skin. If you have sensitive skin, do try to stay away from products and scrubs that have large granules in it because they are going to destroy you. Um, so yeah, go for small granules. 
So that one I try to use every two days because you really need to exfoliate your skin. A lot of people don't bother exfoliating. You're going to get a build up of dead skin. You're going to get acne. You're going to get blackheads. Your skin is going to be dull. It's going to be dry, flaky. You really, really need to exfoliate. So try, do it at least twice a week. Also, this one you can use as a mask. So you can get quite a few ones that you can use as a mask and as a scrub. So with the mask, you just apply it all over. Um, leave it for, it says two to three minutes on the fire. You always leave it for about 10 minutes. Um, it's nice if you can have a glass of wine and watch Gossip Girl or something and relax with a mask on. So do try and do a mask at least once a week as well to get a really good deep cleanse. And um, the other alternative as well then that I use to a face cream Sometimes if I feel like my skin is getting bad um, or if I am a bit paranoid about lines or something for me, I use um, Dr. Pericone Face Finishing Moisturiser. Uh, again, this one is quite expensive. You will find that any of the really good face creams and treatments are expensive. Um, so this one in particular is lightweight, contains antioxidants, so again look for antioxidants because you know that they will minimise lines and wrinkles. Um, it has three powerful anti-age sciences in it, it uses alpha lipoic acid and DMAE which tightens the skin and also vitamin C ester which brightens the skin. Um, the Body Shop as well do a really good range at the moment, it's vitamin C range and they have little capsules and the capsules you just like squeeze them and put them onto your skin and it has vitamin C in it obviously but it just adds radiance to your skin, it smooths your skin, it minimises pores so that's really good as well um, so they're the products I use, I hope it's helpful again I will post everything at the end of the video um, if you have any questions please post the page and um, thank you for watching, bye bye